Hey guys, LuckyHD here, and welcome to what is the first ever Tales of Tenorio video on my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can actually encounter these starter Tenorians out inside of the wild. In this video, we're going to be talking about that and how you can even snag one for free. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so obviously at the start of the game, you can get yourself one free starter, and of course, you use that Tenorian throughout your entire journey. I picked Chihuahua right here, and I've been evolving it all the way up until its final evolution, but but what if you wanted all of the starters? Well, how on earth could you even do that? Well, there is a pretty simple thing. The first thing that you're going to need is to be level 15. Once you are level 15 and you have one of these stadium badges, of course, you know, that is beating Raya, the fighting type stadium leader, you are going to have access to the incenses. Now, if you fast travel to literally anywhere with a Tano station, you're going to see what I mean. Once you're inside of the Tano station, walk up these stairs right here and go into the shop. Once you are level 15, again, you're going to notice that there is now the strong incense available and the conservation incense available. Now, these are two incenses that both cost 250 Robux. Now, the strong incense basically is just going to be something that when you apply it down, it's going to apply it to the entire route and everybody who goes in that route. It's going to make, you know, encountering Tenorians faster. It's going to spawn more Tenorians in the overworld. And again, it's going to affect every single person on that route. So, you know, all of those people can basically leech off of your 250 Robux, uh, you know, cost for free. However, there's also the Conservation Incense, which if you buy it, again, for 250 Robux, you are going to be able to actually spawn starters out inside of the wild. Let me show you how it works. So go ahead and pick literally anywhere inside of the map. Again, it can be any location and go inside of your inventory, press Tenorians, then go to key items and you're going to see Conservation Incense. Now, upon clicking Conservation Incense, all you have to do is press Use and then it is going to use the incense in this route right here. Now, after just a few seconds, you're already going to start seeing starters spawning inside of the wild right here. And again, these starters are chainable. These starters are shiny huntable literally anything that you can do with a regular Tenorian, you know, chaining and all that stuff, you can do with these starters. But as you can see right here, this is a wild Charkyle. And again, you can catch this, you can kill it, start a chain, do whatever. Now, I will say, if you are actually going to be hunting this, you know, make sure that you bring a decent hunting party with this because these starters actually are pretty hard to catch. As you can see, I'm throwing some nice Tano cans right there and this Charkyle is not liking it. However, there are some things I would recommend. Dinostogan actually learns the move Pity Punch. Pity Punch is essentially the false swipe equivalent. So again, you're definitely going to want a Dinostogan with that. That way you could lower it down. Now, I will say if you are actually going to be hunting this, you know, make sure that you bring a decent hunting party with this because these starters actually are pretty hard to catch. As you can see, I'm throwing some nice Tano cans right there and this Charcoal is not liking it. However, there are some things I would recommend. Dinostogan actually learns the move Pity Punch. Pity Pity Punch is essentially the false swipe equivalent. So again, you're definitely going to want a Dinostogan with that. That way you could lower it down. But yeah, it's going to spawn all three of these starters. As you can see right here, this is a Rabush out in the wild. And of course, if we go right over here, you can even see a Chihuahua. Now, these are all going to be visually shiny in the overworld as well. And it's honestly going to be a lot better to hunt off of this than soft resetting for it. Now, obviously, if somebody does in fact put down one of these incenses, you're going to see in the chat, an incense is attracting rare Tenorians in Prelude Plains. And that is your sign to immediately stop what you're doing and fly over there because again the starter incense works for everybody everybody is going to have the chance to actually capture and do the chains off of this one incense that's that that's the whole point of incenses they're a community thing you know one person buys it and it affects the entire server if they you know want to actually go to that route Anyways, guys, I hope that helped you, obviously, in your endeavors to complete the Tanopedia. Once again, you know, I would really recommend, you know, just being alert, you know, whenever somebody puts down an incense like this. I know a lot of YouTubers are definitely going to be doing these starter incense streams, so try to get into a server like that. I know I probably will be, so, hey, tune in once in a while if you want to, you know, get some free starters and all that stuff. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to go down there, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.